So I'm having trouble getting um, my BeagleBone Black to boot properly, and um, a very well-educated uh, Linux-savvy friend of mine uh, suggested that I use the um, serial console to access the BeagleBone Black while booting from SD card because I could see more specific uh, messages. Well, the question is how to do that, and he referred me to uh, Dave Cheney's uh, blog at this particular article about uh, 2.5 ways to access the serial console on your BeagleBone Black. Now, as it turns out, his uh, suggestions, the main suggestions, I don't have. I don't have the um, FTDID USB serial adapter, and uh, yet. And I don't have the uh, prolific PL2303 USB to serial adapter. But by some strange quirk of fate, however, I do have the bus pirate. So evidently, uh, I don't fit his profile here. But that's okay. I don't, really don't fit anyone's profile. Now, <clears throat> there were some things about how to hook this up that I had questions about because I'm really a newbie to this particular technology. So I thought I would try to fill in the gaps for myself so I don't forget and anyone else who might find this uh, interesting or even challenging. So the first thing I figured out is how to actually connect the, uh, the, the bus pirate here to the BeagleBone Black properly wire by wire. Now uh, he, he references um, a, a bus pirate page which is very helpful but it, it, it assumes you know some things that I don't. So I came up with this. This is what I came up with. There we go. Okay. So I came up with this where I grabbed uh, somebody's picture of these three pins being utilized here on the VicoBone Black, but then to figure out exactly which pins to connect them to on my bus pirate. And I have, well, this particular version, but it seems that the pins are the same. So what, uh, what was very confusing to me was to figure out which one of these pins went to which one of these pins. And so this diagram, crude that it may be, uh, demystifies that. I was really confused because um, I thought that the uh, the TX on the on the BeagleBone Black should go to the RX on the on the Bus Pirate, and the RX on the BeagleBone Black should go to the TX on the Bus Pirate. But no, that is not the way it works. So I figured out that uh, while ground connecting to ground was fairly obvious, uh, we wanted to connect the uh, the TX pin on the BeagleBone Black to uh, the TX. Here and I guess we're using the UART connection feature of the Bus Pirate, which is the MOSI pin. Don't ask me what MOSI stands for. I don't know. But anyway, and then the uh, the RX pin on the BeagleBone Black would go to the MISO pin right there. So there's a diagram I provide for anyone that they can not be confused about that. Now, um, <clears throat> using uh, Linux uh, Zubuntu machine, I want to change this page. Using a Linux Zubuntu machine, um, I had to figure out how to get it to uh, get, just access the bus pirate in the first place. And so I found somebody else's helpful blog that suggested that uh, using this command, dmesg pipe tail, um, evidently shows the latest things that have been connected uh, to the USB. And so since the bus pirate is one of those, I can see that uh, this message is the one that's really very helpful. And it says that it's connected to device TTY USB 2, which is extremely helpful. So now, how to connect to the bus pirate itself? Well, uh, somebody else's blog suggested that I use a screen. Uh, but I have to know the device, and now I do know that the device is USB 2, and also suggests the maximum speed there, and so off we go. So pseudo screen uh, device TTY USB number 115200. Okay, so now the screen goes black. Thankfully, I've used screen before so that I actually know that something's happening, it's just waiting for a command. So I hit enter, and I see hey, I have a high Z command prompt. Well, the research told me that the high Z command prompt really is the bus pirate. So now uh, Dave Cheney's uh, blog comes in extremely handy because he offers this command set here to use 
um, in order to uh, tell the bus pirate to connect to the Big of One Black um, using UART mode and these various settings. And I don't know that I would have figured that out nearly as easily without those fine instructions. So thank you very much, Dave. Very helpful. So we'll start by typing in M. I see these options. Very good. Three for UART mode. Nine for 115200. One. as he suggests, one, also as he suggests, and one again, and then two, normal 3.3 .3 volt output. Okay, now, I noticed that that uh, prompt has changed to a UART prompt, very, very helpful. Now, it looks like I typed, I actually typed the parentheses literally, so I've done that. Not sure if it's necessary or not, but I'm actually doing that. Parenthesis one unparenthesis, and I say do this. You are bridge. Hmm. Evidently, this is the transparent bridge mode, so that's very good. Um, am I sure? Why, yes, I'm sure because Dave Cheney is sure. So here I am, and now nothing seems to happen. So I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so I think I mentioned that I was having trouble with the Beagle Bone Black. And so um, evidently when I was at that last screen, it was uh, functioning. The bus pirate was functioning properly, but the Beagle Bone Black was locked up. So a power off and a power on um, actually yields a fresh start. But I just hit the power button on the Beagle Bone Black, and woo, there we go. We're getting all kinds of messages um, and evidently this is giving us all kinds of information that um, we don't get otherwise. So evidently it worked. There it is. The BeagleBone Black booting from uh, SD card and I'm using the uh, Bus Pirate UART to connect to the serial console. And that's what I wanted to document here so that I could remember myself and uh, help anyone else that might be stuck there. Thanks for watching.